Hey everyone, Astaria Sen here and I am doing the hashtag my 2020 vision by it's a VR to the Hermit's Cave. It's a five card spread. I added an oracle card to my spread with, along with my tarot deck because I like adding the oracle and tarot together. So the first question is, what lessons from 2019 can I take into 2020? So my first one is the Queen of Swords. Um, so the Queen of Swords. I really feel like this is probably going to be me from 2019. <laughs> this past year, I've done a lot of self-focus, a lot of um, spirituality, a lot of trial and error um, with my business, with my spirituality, with a whole bunch of things. So I think all the stuff that I've been learning, especially spiritually, I need to take over into, um, 2020 and kind of work through it. Queen is also represented as creation. So I feel like it falls into my work as well because I am an artist and, um, I think 2020 might be 2019 is a good foundation for my 2020 creating process. I think it's going to be anyways, because I've done a lot of movement forward in 2019 and I've done a lot of trial and error. All right. Um, so the next question is what obstacles may I face during 2020? And we have the, um, eight of cups. And this is definitely a movement based card. I can see the, the, how her tail like provides the swirl in the water. Like the, like if you stick a drop in the water and it just spreads out. Um, and she's going deeper too into the water. Um, I think there's an obstacle that I might have to face is change because it's like the idea of movement from one space to the next. So an obstacle for me might be some change that I will have to face and I'm not super good with change. Um, let's see. Next question is number three, what do I need to focus on to overcome the obstacles? All right. The next one is the two of swords. All right. So Thor swords are a lot of, um, like state of mind cards. Um, and the twos represent like a balanced duality maybe even like looking at my own reflection. Um, so it's possible that um, in order to overcome these changes that I have to take a good look at myself and realize that I'm capable of making those changes. So I think that might be my focus is just knowing that I can um, overcome them. Uh, four, what opportunities will be available to me in 2020? And I got the Queen of Pentacles. Again, another queen, so I definitely feel like 2020 is representation of myself and what I'm capable of. So um, I think that the opportunities are probably opportunities I will grant myself. Um, and let's see, pentacles are often um, finance related or materials possession related. So I think I'll see a lot of growth in maybe my home business, my artistry my art business, um, that could be some great opportunities for me. Number five, what will be over the overall theme for 2020 for me? And we have the three of pentacles. This threes are often group cooperation, um, friendships, stuff like that. And of course, pentacles are often, um, as I just said, finance based materials that based. So I think that my overall theme is that I'm probably going to make some new friends, meet some new people, do a lot of networking that will probably help me financially, especially in my artistry. And that will probably be a blessing for me. <laughs> All right. And then the, what I did is I, the Oracle card that I'm using is from the very blessing cards. And the blessing that's coming with me is a blessing of connection, which I feel totally 
totally rolls over into all of this, especially with my overall theme. So I think that connection with people is what I'm really going to need. Um, and it'll probably help me overcome some obstacles. And it's definitely going to help me grow as a person and come into my own artistry for everything that I'm wanting to do this coming year. So this was so much fun. Um, I'm looking forward to going through more of other people's as the rest of December goes on. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day.